The product we're processing through the, the main plant, the concentrator, is a magnetite. Uh, it's quite an abrasive iron ore. We're also pushing throughput and aiming for record production. So we constantly see a change in how the plant's performing and also the wear we experience. We have to adapt to that to make sure we maintain that availability to get us the tonnes at the end of the day. Where minerals can build the, the best slurry pump in the market, what we can't control is is what happens when it gets to site. The lubrication on a mine site is incredibly important just to the environment we work in. There's, um, there's dust, overburden, overflow, there's all kinds of spillage on site, the glands leak. There's a constant battle to, to keep the, the machinery going and that's, that's what happened here. We went down the path of doing a con-mon check uh, free of charge. We started to pick up a fault on what we call PP113213, they're the big cyclone feed pumps. We identified that it was going to fail and we stopped it before the failure mode. We then carried out a rebuild on that. And as a result of that, to prevent that failure happening again, we installed Acumen on that pump. Acumen is a lubrication technique that guarantees a certain amount of grease going to the particular part of that bearing or labyrinth at a particular time. Once we trialled the Acumen on one of our largest warming pumps and we saw the good results, we discussed the outcome with, with Weir and talked about, well, let's see if we can expand this further and make it more of a permanent part of our plant across the rest of the big eight slurry pumps. And since none of those pumps have experienced any bearing barrel problems and continue to run and perform. But it's, it's suitable for most grease lubricated equipment. A failure on this site on their cyclone feed pump is upwards of $120,000. And something as simple as Acumen can prevent that failure from happening. Having Acumen fitted prevents over greasing and under greasing. That obviously prevents um, costly bearing assembly failures, but it also frees up man hours to do other more critical tasks. It's technology, it's, a, it's forward thinking, it's being proactive and, and using innovation to provide solutions. 